Toyota has some big plans for electric cars. The automobile giant has plans to release seven new EVs. So what is the automaker's strategy to win the EV top spot? What will Toyota's electric cars offer? There's a lot to unpack in today's video. Let's take a look. Before we start, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's begin. In December 2021, Toyota CEO Akio Toyota presented his company's new and expanded plans to boost its company's production of battery electric vehicles. Toyota made some big promises. In the 30-minute media briefing, Toyota set a goal of 3.5 million BEVs a year by 2030 out of Toyota's 10 million total globally. The company would make no fewer than 30 different Toyota and Lexus models in all market segments, and in total, he pledged a whopping $70 billion toward electrification. Mo. It's worth noting that Toyota has a lot of production going on for electric cars already. 25 years ago, Toyota released its first battery electric car, a small SUV known as the RAV4 EV. However, the car was only sold in California as a compliance car, meaning a vehicle sold only in the volumes and regions necessary to meet regulatory requirements. This enabled the company to maintain its permission to sell cars in the state. Following that was a collection of tiny urban EV runabouts and the EQ, an electric version of the IQ that emerged in 2012. However, the streak was short-lived as Toyota killed off the production after making only 100 units. But now, Toyota has set up a completely new line that will be used to push its newly found focus on electric cars. The series is known as BZ, or Beyond Zero. The vehicles in the series will be based on the ETNGA platform co-developed with Subaru. The Toyota New Global Architecture is a modular automobile platform that underpins various Toyota and Lexus models, starting with the fourth-generation Prius in late 2015. TNGA platforms accommodate different vehicle sizes and front, rear, and all-wheel drive configurations. However, the electric platform is known by another name over at Subaru. According to Toyota, the Beyond Zero name conveys the desire to provide customers with value that exceeds mere zero emissions. The company described the BZ series as a human-centered approach aimed at regions such as China, North America, and Europe, where there is significant demand for BEVs. Toyota has revealed the BZ4X electric SUV. It will be joined by more electric models. At the bottom of the range will be a small crossover dubbed BZ Small Crossover, destined primarily for the city. Finished in red, it looks more along the lines of a jacked-up hatchback with rugged cues such as the plastic body cladding. Toyota took a similar approach for its 2022 Ego X, a combustion-engine little car competing in the A segment. The new zero-emissions petite crossover has been conceived primarily with Europe and Japan in mind. There is also the electric sedan, which Toyota calls the BZ SDN. It competes in the midsize segment and will serve as the best first car for a family. Given its bespoke EV platform, it should be pretty spacious, resulting in a completely flat floor and ample rear legroom. The biggest of them all is the BZ Large SUV, which will be spacious enough for up to seven people thanks to the adoption of a three-row layout. It has a relatively flat roofline to maximize rear headroom and adopts a sleek design with slim lights and pop-out door handles. All four concepts had the windows blacked out as Toyota isn't revealing their cabins for the time being. However, Toyota has plans for its more expensive Lexus line. The company aims to electrify the entire Lexus lineup by 2030, starting with the RZ SUV. Toyota is now ready to start selling the BZ4X SUV with notable features like an optional solar roof and a steering yoke similar to the one featured in the latest version of the Tesla Model S. The steering yoke, which Toyota describes as having a wing shape, employs a steer-by-wire system, where there is no mechanical connection between the steering wheel and tires. The yoke only needs to turn up to 150 degrees from side to side and the driver doesn't even need to remove their hands. This will eliminate the need to change grips when steering, which the company argues will make U-turns and other maneuvers easier. The BZ4X is the first electric car built on the new ETNGA to go on sale, although the Subaru Solterra may soon join it. Thanks to the platform, the BZ4X will automatically have, in addition to the steer-by-wire system, all-wheel drive, improved visibility, and a regenerative braking system. The interior of the car features a unique instrument cluster, with the screen set back from the steering wheel that Toyota says will improve driver visibility. The central infotainment screen appears to be floating above the dash instead of embedded within it, and there are a number of physical buttons in the center console and on the steering wheel, proof that Toyota is not fully yet embracing the digital user experience like companies like Tesla. 
Toyota's designers took some inspiration from the Hammerhead Shark when outlining the BZ4X's exterior. However, it is easy to see hints of the Toyota RAV4 in this new car. Toyota claims the solar roof can generate electricity equivalent to 1,800 kilometers of driving distance per year. The car can also do bi-directional charging for vehicle-to-home capacity, like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Ford F-150 Lightning. Toyota has announced the BZ4X will have a $42,000 MSRP for the base front-wheel drive version with the limited all-wheel drive version starting at $48,780. The base model BZ4X has an estimated EPA range of 252 miles, about the same as the Chevy Bolt EUV and about 30 miles more than the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Toyota's future as an electric car company seems exciting. There's still a lot more we expect from the automobile giant. Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Please, click on the like button, like and share this video with your family and friends, and thank you so much for watching this one, and we will see you in the next one.